Hello and welcome to this Power BI tutorial with me, James from Matador Software. Today we're going to be looking at the Zebra BI cards, a great resource for displaying KPIs, loads of visual functionality. Um, and, and this was featured in the new December 2021 release. So it's, it's a new app source visualization. As we can see, we can show multiple KPIs in just one visual. It's great for displaying comparisons, trends, KPIs, and the visual wells are really intuitive. We can drill down, we can look at dynamic comments, which is a really nice feature, and we can look at sort of resizing, reordering cards, spotlighting them, and, and there's loads and loads of features that we could speak about. But I do like this row layout as well. It, it sort of aligns with the spark line, which we looked at before. So. We're going to go in and look at how we would get this by clicking get more visuals going into the app source itself it'll load in a sec we can click on zebra bi cards simply add it to our our dashboard our report and i've already done so so i don't need to click that last step and there we go we have the visual so as I said, this custom visualization, Zebra BI card, it's brand new. It's very good for displaying multiple KPIs. And I do have two mock data sets. I've got the, the regional KPIs, but I'm actually gonna go slightly down a different route and look at sales data. Um, so one of the first things that, that's great about this custom visualization that a lot of the other ones don't feature, other standard custom visualizations we might find in the store is that it's very intuitive as to what we need to add and where we need to add it in these wells. So, you know, we need to start with a value. And as this is custom data, I've just created a simple filter, calculate DAX measure to separate my current sales and my previous year's sales so that I can compare these. Obviously, if we're looking at sales, that's gonna be really important. So that's the first step that we can make. We can take the current year's sales and our value and the previous year's sales. And already we get a nice visual that shows us the, the increase in sales, the percentage, a waterfall chart, and we've not had to do much to get there. Now, typically in the KPIs, well, we could add something like, you know, positive reviews, customer retention and so on, standard KPIs, but we're actually going to, to use our grouped function as the regions. And you can see it's very easy to compare previous year's sales to the last year's sales. And just by clicking buttons, you see, we can already change that layout. We can also resize and reorder our cards. So if we want to focus on a specific region or area, this could be a KPI in our case, it's Washington sales, then we can do that. And now if we want to look even deeper into our data within the category trend, I can add our month. Now, this gives us a nice waterfall. It's not hugely intuitive. However, if I go down to the, the card section within my visualization, you'll see that I can change the chart type to a column. And here we go. This is great. This is uh, more information within one visual that, than we could hope for. And we've got it across several different cards. So we can start to see the percentage increase, um, the actual numeric increase between each month, year on year. And above, we also have that really nice trend graphic where we can see the, the negative and both the positive increases, you know, separated by the line. And we also have the values really clearly. So the column chart really is a great feature, especially if we're comparing month by month or year by year values. I'm blown away by the functionality here, the ability to resize, reorder cards, spotlight. We've got great wells, we've got plans, so we could have a budget, our target goals in here to compare as well. We could compare a third um, KPI or, or metric. We have tooltips, dynamic comments, which we'll look at later. And within the visualization, we can go in and restructure how many cards we have in a row. If we want to do it that way, we can suppress null cards. We can change the layout as well, which is a very powerful feature.
we also have the ability to change the chart type between line and areas and column charts and the line charts really powerful because we have that almost like that ghost line underneath where we can compare it and we also have the ability to change this to a row type so and another nice it's almost like a scorecard particularly good when we're comparing two different values and it sort of almost ties in with the new Power BI Sparkline feature and it's Zebra BI's take on it and it's very powerful in itself. So we can actually change comparison labels or we can change the variance icon. So we could change it from the circle with the arrow to the triangle. And one thing that's interesting about here is actually sizes to scale. So you'll see if it's a small variance, it will be a smaller icon and that, that's done automatically and responsively. So that's a, a fantastic feature. So we can change back from rows to the standard cards. And you'll notice if you hover at the top here, you've also got the ability to change the style from sort of an elevated shadowing to standard to flat. So that's great in itself. And it's great to have that control from the top of the, the visual. Really powerful feature there as well. Another thing that's worth noting, if we go into the design, I think it's such a great feature within the style. This is actually a color blind friendly scheme, which is fantastic. Um, and yeah, it's a, a thoughtful development there and really powerful in itself. We can also go into do the basic things like the background, make things slightly more, more crisp and clean with our standard design. We can go ahead and reorder these cards uh, and get them exactly to our liking. As you can see, we can also drag and drop cards and, and place things in the exact order. You'll notice that I'm using the free version rather than the paid. Um, there's there's quite a, a lot of reasonable pricing options for the paid and I'd suggest it's a worthwhile investment, especially if you're maybe in a finance organization and you want several users to use it. But I can reorder these cards so that the ones that appear locked because my free version allows me to have, I think it's five, um, I can go in and, and display the, the ones that are sort of, um, aren't locked and are available in their full functionality. The last feature that I wanted to showcase was the dynamic comments. I've used the, the regional KPIs just to compare different KPIs by year. And this is great. All we need to do is drag a text comment field within our data set into the, the comment well and we hover over it and it, it aligns with the, the trend, the green increase. And we now have a dynamic comment because end users typically, if they're from different departments, might need this explanation. As usual, if you enjoyed this content, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe and share. Thank you.